Hey everybody, welcome back to the Brushworks channel. Today we are going to show you what it looks like 18 months post mulching. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen the previous videos, we did a three month and a 12 month update. This is the 18 month update. So this is what the area looks like after 18 months. This area was heavily forested, had tons of honeysuckle, underbrush. There were a lot of wood chips on the ground when it was done. Um, we did the experiment. So the experiment was, we had an area where we cleared all the mulch and put down grass seed. An area where we left the mulch and just put the grass seed down right on top and then an area where we did absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna show you the results of that experiment. And I am actually standing right now in the area where we left the mulch and put down grass seed. So you can see, and I'll show you guys some close-ups. The grass came in really, really nice. So this is very few weeds. I don't see any mulch left on the ground. Um, there's some areas where there's uh, some crabgrass, but other than that, the grass is coming really thick, really healthy, and I don't see a single mulch remnant. So all that mulch has been broken down over the last 18 months. And uh, as I said in the other video, that kind of, as that grass comes in, it pulls that mulch towards the ground, and it really breaks down that mulch really well. So this has been mowed all season since spring. Um, and it needs to be mowed again, it just grows so nice. This, green, this grass is very green and uh, very, very healthy. So we will move on to the next area. The next area is gonna be where we cleared the mulch and put down grass seed. Okay, so now I'm in the area where we cleared the mulch and we put down the grass seed. And it came in okay. I mean, it's, it's thick, but it's not quite as green. It's not growing quite as quickly as it is in the other area that we just talked about. Um, there's a lot of clover in this. There's a lot of weeds in this, but it's decent. It's not terrible. Um, I think that, you know, that we don't see quite as good of growth over here as we did over there. And I think a lot of that has to do with when you leave the mulch, you're keeping, when that, that mulch is breaking down, it's returning a lot of nutrients to the soil. So the other area almost looks like we fertilized it. Uh, whereas this area, it was mowed at the exact same time as the other area. And you can kind of see how much taller the grass was in the other area, um, cause it's just growing in so much better. And removing the mulch doesn't really help. If, if anything, I think it, it hurts. You want that mulch to break down. It doesn't take that long for mulch to break down. Um, I mean, you just saw the 18, 18 months the 12 months we had very little mulch and now we have none. So we will move on to the area where we did absolutely nothing at all. Okay, so this is the area where we did absolutely nothing and I'm really surprised by this. And I, I kind of knew that the grass was gonna come back naturally to an extent. I figured there would be you know, a lot of weeds and we'd be really fighting it. Um, all we did was keep mowing it over so when we first started out, there was tons of mulch on the ground. We lift the mower deck up and just keep skimming it over. And then as that grass came in, naturally, it pulled that mulch down to the soil and we were able to do a normal cut, a normal mow. Um, this is really healthy and there are some weeds in it. Funny enough, there's actually seems to be less weeds in this as there was in the area where we removed the mulch. Um, I'm not really sure why that is, but it's definitely the case. There are some mulch left over. So very, very few. You typically like these larger pieces and you can kind of see it's very brittle now, very brittle. So when this, you can see, I just kind of like break it off with my hands. Um, it's moist, so it's decaying. 
is breaking off really easily. So this is gonna be, after this winter, I, I imagine this is gonna all be gone, completely gone. So it's really breaking up nice. And there's only, from what I can see standing here, there's maybe 10 pieces on the ground. Not much at all. Um, so really, really excited and really happy with how this turned out. So I guess that kind of begs the question of what, what should you do on your property? You know, this is our 18 month, 18 month update. I thought I wasn't gonna do another one, uh, but on the 12 month, we still had some mulch around. So I figured let's wait another six months to see what we got left. And there's like no mulch left at all in any of these areas. So a few pieces on the, on the spot where we did nothing, but that'll be gone in the winter for sure. And uh, so overall, if it were me, I would probably do nothing. If anything, I would uh, power rake it. So if you power rake it, it's gonna mix the mulch into the soil and it's gonna, when, that's just gonna make a really nice soft seed bed. And then that mulch is gonna be churned into the soil. So as it breaks down, it's gonna return a bunch of nutrients in the kind of in the subsoil in the top few inches of soil versus just sitting on top. Um, so I think your, your best bet, leave the mulch. If you can afford to do it and you wanna do it, if you wanna turn the area around very quickly, power rake it. You're still gonna have mulch left on the soil uh, but the grass is going to come, come in a lot faster. You're going to smooth out the area, make a nice seed bed. But you can't really go wrong with just seeding right on top of the mulch or putting, doing absolutely nothing um, and just kind of maintaining it with your lawnmower. So I would say what not to do is don't remove the mulch. Um, removing the mulch, yeah, the grass came in. I mean, I think on the three month update, you kind of see how quickly that grass came in versus these other areas. But at the end of the day, it wasn't worth it because it's by far the unhealthiest grass we have out here. Um, so just leave the mulch, leave the mulch, put down grass seed if you want. That's going to turn around faster than doing nothing. Um, and but at the same time, you could also just do nothing as long as you're maintaining it with a mower. That's pretty much all you got to do. You can see here this was heavily forested. I mean, this mulch layer was a couple inches thick all the way across and it's 18 months in and it's gone so anyways thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful for you guys and uh make sure you guys give us a like and subscribe actually something i wanted to throw in this video real quick is you see these vines these vines were all over these trees and over time what has happened is these these vines you can see how brittle it is now that it's been cut off and this one's slowly falling out of the tree um, over the last 18 months these vine these this area bef before it was cleared these vines were covering these trees they're everywhere and over the last 18 months they have been drying up and falling out of the trees and we've just been going around and kind of cleaning them up as we go but um, we have now very very few vines left and let me get a shot of that real quick i'll show you these trees we got like a black walnut over here that was absolutely covered and it's almost completely out so you can see this black walnut here it's got some vines still hanging in it but this thing had tons of them everywhere and they're almost there's pretty much just that one left but they are falling out of here there's a lot of black walnut trees here in the back. All gone. The vines aren't in any of those trees. Yeah, so I just thought that was cool. Something I figured I'd show you guys. Um, we get asked a lot about what, what happens with these vines. And after about 18 months, I'd say 80% of these vines have fallen out of the trees. Um, so that's what happens with them. <laughs>